what's up with y'all welcome back to the channel if you guys are new go ahead and subscribe and if you guys enjoy this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up so we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this video so today we are going to be talking about how youtube has completely changed my life and i don't even got a hundred subscribers yet so let's hop right into it so this all started when i was about 11 or 12. i used to get android phones and I would do like little electronic reviews. I would take stuff apart, record it, and I would do gaming videos. I would post it on YouTube. So I created my very first YouTube channel. And yeah, I started posting YouTube videos on there, not really thinking it was gonna go anywhere. But back then, all I did 24 seven was watch YouTube videos, watch tech reviews, watch vloggers, watch car channels, watch car reviews, like everything. So growing up, all I had was was YouTube. I watch TV, but I watch YouTube 24 seven. So that basically made me who I am now. So even though I started doing YouTube way back then, I didn't take it serious until I moved out here to California when I was 17 turning 18. So I moved out here and I was like, okay, I'm in Cali. I'm going to start doing YouTube for real. Now, first things first, I am super introverted. I wouldn't say super introverted, but I would say I'm introverted and I don't really like talking to people. Nobody really knows because once I'm like your friend, you won't know that I'm like introverted. But YouTube has really helped me with talking to a camera, getting me out of my comfort zone, uh, vlogging in public, being just overall confident in talking because I am not a good talker. So YouTube has really, really, really helped me grow when it comes to talking. Now I can sit here and have a full conversation. I can talk, I can vlog, I can do pretty much any communication thing like with ease now, all because of YouTube. Like this has opened up so many doors with communication because I was super introverted and I didn't like talking to anybody and talking to a camera made me super duper confident. And now it translated to outside of the camera. Now I don't need a a phone in my face or a camera in my face to communicate so with communication it helped me out so much as you guys can tell i'm very comfortable with talking on camera if you guys have seen my previous videos youtube has helped me when it comes to being embarrassed and being confident being bold being outgoing youtube has got me out of that shell like i'm super confident i'm super outgoing like my confidence to vlog in public my confidence to do things and not care about what people say not care about what people think all of this has came from youtube and that's such like a blessing to say like youtube and recording myself and taking the steps myself to get over like being embarrassed get over people saying like oh you do youtube that's stupid it's just like tiktok like doing tiktok helps with that too so it just helps with everything like being confident on camera translate to being confident off camera for me and that's been something that doing youtube has helped me with also this has opened so many doors for me this has taught me so much this has made me find what i want to do in life this has helped me find who i like um the content that i like the content that i want to do the lifestyle that i want to have youtube has really helped me with like everything it lets me express myself it lets me be myself i don't got to Sit here and lie i can sit here and show y'all my life and it just it is what it is i can sit here and express myself to y'all and one misconception that a lot of people get is they're like why are you putting so much work into youtube why are you doing youtube you don't even have a million subscribers you don't even have a hundred thousand subscribers but when you're passionate about something the views don't matter the likes don't matter the comments don't matter i am a documenter i love documenting things i love when i'm chilling or i'm at home and one of my home he sends me a clip from a vlog two years ago and it just brings back memories so i love to document and this is like my main reason of doing youtube is simply because i like documenting my life and i like having memories i like making memories i like for other people to reminisce on those memories i have so it's been so many times where my friends will send me clips of previous vlogs or just something that was just hilarious and they sent it to me and that's just kind of like something that i always find good because nobody else in my 
my circle really documents anything. I'm the documenter. So it gives me like a good feeling. It's like I'm doing this as a purpose. And YouTube is a long term thing. YouTube isn't something for the week. This isn't a short term thing. This isn't a quick money grab. This is a long term thing. And for somebody to do YouTube, they have to know that. And I commend everybody that does YouTube or tries to do YouTube or talks on camera or anything like that, because doing any of this without the instant money grab or without the instant views takes heart. And I like that about the people in this creative world. So that's a part of why I love doing this as well. And YouTube has taught me how to film. YouTube has taught me how to edit, how to vlog, how to communicate, how to teach people, how to comprehend things. Like YouTube is a all in one platform that helps you with everything. And it only makes sense that I become a product of my environment. I kind of see it coming full circle. Now I taught myself how to do everything. And now I can take everything that I did and reteach people that don't know how to do it in my way and a different way. So it's honestly dope to be able to teach people. It's dope to be able to tell people I learned how to edit. I learned how to vlog. I learned how to learn how to do everything just by watching YouTube videos. Like that's such a low thing to say, but it's such a big thing because it's like I learned how to do everything just by simply watching something, turning it into my own thing and producing it into my own thing. So YouTube is a very good platform and I'm planning on staying here for a while. And I appreciate every single subscriber, like, comment that I get because I really do have a passion for this. And I don't really see a lot of people with my same passion doing YouTube. This is why I'm trying to create friends. I'm trying to show you guys my life and everything like that. So you guys can kind of like see how I'm doing and you guys can kind of like get a glimpse into my life and see that I'm learning, I'm growing. And I can also look back and see that I'm learning and growing with this whole YouTube thing. And yeah, it this just means like so much to me. And I only have like 300 and something subscribers, but to me, 300 subscribers is a lot. And every time I talk to my camera, I feel like I'm talking to you guys. I feel like I'm talking to all 300 and something of you guys. And I really enjoy that. So I'm planning on staying here for a long time. And yeah, for the last part of this video, I guess I'll give you guys a pros and cons real quick of YouTube. So let's start out with the con. Now, the negatives with YouTube. Number one, you have to get over being embarrassed. You have to get over the making money quick thing. Like this is not a quick cash grab. That's number two. You're not going to be making any money like starting YouTube unless you blow up overnight and become famous or something. But yeah, number one, you have to get over being embarrassed. And number two, you have to realize that this is a long term thing. This is not a short term thing when it comes to money at all. Number three, you have to actually have a passion for it because doing YouTube is not easy at all. Once you begin to do YouTube, you will realize that YouTube isn't easy. So number four, you have to realize that no one is going to support you. Nobody is going to support you at all. So you have to keep going and keep pushing and be your own supporter until people start supporting you. Strangers are gonna support you more than your friends. So build up that courage to go out and vlog so you can build your own community and get on it. So that's number four. Number five is you have to put up with negative comments. You have to put up with probably being looked down upon because people don't think this is like a real true thing. So you kind of have to get over that loop. But once you do, it's great. So those are the cons. The pros are you get to be yourself. Um, you get to learn how to edit. You get to learn how to film. You get to learn how to document. Um, you get to learn how to communicate to the camera. You get to learn how to get over being shy. Um, you kind of become a little extrovert in public. I feel like I'm very confident in public now. You get to teach people. You get to show people your growth. You get to document your whole entire journey, your whole entire everything. So there are so many more pros to this, but I'm going to stop it here because I don't want to talk y'all head off. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe. And yeah, if you guys want to see a part two where I list out all the pros and the cons, let me know down below in the comments below. But yeah, I got to go. Peace out. Thank y'all for watching the video. Peace.